And when all that heat comes in, it means one thing. Tropic season is also heating up. So the Atlantic Basin still si showing no signs of tropical development. And so because of that, we figured let's dive in a little deeper to some of the details on tropical forecasting. First showing you GOES East satellite. And so basically what these GOES satellites do is they orbit the Earth at the exact speed that matches the Earth's rotation. So what that allows them is to remain over a fixed position on the Earth's surface. So that's why they're called geostationary satellites. We just launched some extra satellites up into the atmosphere to finish up some of these ghost satellites. So we are only getting higher and higher when it comes to the technology that we use to help you forecast not only tropical season, but also for um, severe weather as well. When it comes to the Atlantic Basin, we are pretty quiet. Now, it's not totally unusual. We are slightly behind schedule here. The first A-name storm doesn't happen until June 20th, but uh, it doesn't seem like that will be likely at least for the next seven to 10 days. So we've got a little extra time. So let's get into some of the visible imagery that we show you that comes from these satellites. First up is visible satellite. Now notice it's pretty dark. You're not seeing too much and things are starting to come up. What's happening here is you can't see anything until the sunlight starts to come and then you begin to see kind of where the cloud decks are and, and where we're looking at. But when the sun goes down, obviously weather still happens. We also get a lot of intensification at night, which is why we use enhanced satellite. What enhanced satellite does is it looks at the temperature temperature of these cloud tops. The taller up into the atmosphere it brings you into the colder spectrum. So that's the purple values. You can see all of that sort of bubbling up into the eastern Pacific, but the Atlantic completely quiet. When we also talk about tropics, a big thing is how much moisture is in the atmosphere. So this is showing you water vapor imagery. Anywhere where you have that darker orange value is showing you a very dry environment. A lot of this can be Saharan dust that starts to pull off, just not a lot of moisture into the region. And uh, it can also be a good indicator of where we've got a lot of sinking air, which is something that is also going to be parked in place over the Atlantic Basin. So numerous reasons as to why the Atlantic is not active and won't be active. What we do look at though this time of year is the ITCZ tropical waves moving off of the coast of Africa. But at this point, uh, these tropical waves, they're just not in a good position to come and turn into a major hurricane or just a hurricane in general. Usually they have a better window as the ITCZ inches further and further north as it gets into the summer months. And hurricanes, they have to be just a bit off of the equator so they can get that rotation and turn into these tropical cyclones. So Saharan dust is in the area, not quite as strong of a dust plume as we've had before. Hostile wind environment in the region as well. But we also have trade winds. Trade winds have been actually cooling off the waters, especially in the Caribbean. So right now we're running average, if not slightly below average for some major basins.